Come on, girl. You're gonna. Oh no 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 no. Okay. You're you're almost. Oh my freaking. Where are my catch cups? My catch cups are here. Come on, man. Why won't you separate? There we go. Separate it now. Guess who's once again afraid to do another rehouse? Yep, it's this guy over here that's talking right now. You guys know who's in this enclosure. Oh man, as you can see, there are a lot of these mold. Yeah, I had to turn on the lights a little bit because you can't really see, but you can see all these yellow mold over here. Yeah, these mold, I used to be super paranoid about these mold, but then every time when I had like these mold, like even a little bit in the enclosure, I would rehouse the tarantula straight away. However, there are people People who commented saying that these mold, these ones right here, will not harm the tarantula. So I just decided to just leave her in with these mold. Actually, they're mushroom spores. They're not actually mold, but yeah, she's been doing fine ever since. But I think it's time, it's about time to get her into her new custom made enclosure. And if you guys don't know who's in here, let's just take a quick look, shall we? You guys will enjoy this rehouse for sure. We have got, oh, where did she go? Oh, she's down there. Yeah, we have got Miss Thailand Black. She was right here just now, but I mean, she just decided to go down. And the reason why all these mold started to grow in this enclosure is because of the dampness. As you can see, there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight ventilation holes, cross ventilation holes. The lid, I covered these ventilation holes. I used hot glue. So that doesn't allow the water to evaporate quick enough. So the air is pretty moist and pretty humid in here. Yeah, that's the, that's the term. Humid in here, which in return, mold starts to grow. However, these mold, like I mentioned, and like everyone else mentioned, I mean, not everyone else, uh, the, the few experienced people who told me, these mold are not harmful to tarantulas. So yeah, but regardless, I'm gonna be rehousing her because I still don't like the fact that there are mold in my tarantulas enclosure. I think this, it took quite a while for these mold to like sprout out to be this much, but as you can see, she's still doing fine. So yeah, guys, if you see a little bit of these yellow mold if you'll focus there we go these yellow mold they're actually mushroom spores so you don't really have to worry unless it is like a whole lot like this but even so she's she's been doing fine i fed her like two super rooms yesterday and she did not look lethargic she looks pretty good she just grabbed those super rooms so no worries about that let's go and rehouse this girl right now so which enclosure shall we put Miss Thailand Black in today? I think we'll put her in this one because this one, it has like a burrow down there and it also allows her to dig even deeper. This substrate, it's not much. I mean, it's about four inches, but in there she can deep down because as you can see over there, it is pretty high up. So it's considered a deeper burrow for her. So yeah, let's get her into this beautiful enclosure over here. Alright guys, so we're back in the animal room, so do excuse the echo because like I mentioned, I need to get more of these uh, plushies, but as for now, we don't have that yet, so we're gonna have to put her into this right now, and yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's get this open. Let me just show you what's in this enclosure first, okay? Now, in here, we have got a wood. Yeah, this is a, not sure, this is a driftwood, and the substrate is starting to like fall down like oh okay doesn't matter and we've got some leaf litter over here to make it a little bit more tropical looking and then we've got some plastic plants because I mean if you put real plants like like this one over here this is a real plant and as you can see the other leaves they're already starting to dry up and become brown so the green will not last forever which is why we use plastic plants you know to make the place look nicer and more appealing just like my Terranoculus marinus tan color form over here you see from far you see these plants these plastic plants actually looks pretty realistic so yeah it's pretty cool especially this one we have some artificial flowers over here which is like paddy I don't know over here she she pretty much made her burrow which is only like this deep which is also about four inches and she does not go any deeper than that so yeah that's her but now is the time we uh what are we gonna do now huh we're gonna like die no, just kidding. Being a little bit dramatic, but this is gonna be pretty scary, man. Let me get my tongue, which is over here. And I got this tongue in June 2016. I like to write dates to see how long things last. Like for example, my glue gun, I got in April 2016. Anyways, let's just get this girl out. She's gone into a burrow, which is gonna make it much more difficult for me to get her out and into here. So let's see. And I hope this ketchup is big enough because, oh man, this girl, you guys know her. Oh, you see? 
She hasn't even made a burrow that is... How am I gonna get her out, man? How on earth am I gonna get... Because if I... Oh, no. This is gonna be scary. Like, oh, no. Yeah, she is one scary girl. And she can't just run out, so... I'm not really sure how am I gonna do this. Oh, my goodness. Come on, girl. You're gonna... Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, she's already ready to... Oh, no. Okay, okay, girl. Calm down, don't kill me. How am I gonna get her out? Should I just poke this in here and slowly, like, push her out? I don't know, man. This is scary. This is, like... This is probably the scariest among my other teas that I have rehoused. Oh! Okay, okay, girl. Calm down. Calm down. Do not run. Do not bolt. Oh, man, look at her, you guys. She is huge. She is massive. And, oh, okay. Let's see if this... Yeah, this cup is definitely big enough. How am I gonna do this? Should I just... Oh! Okay, okay, I did not even touch you. I did not even put like wind on you or anything and you're already like that Oh my gosh, come on girl. Sorry guys. I'm I'm, I'm getting a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no Okay, don't worry that did not hurt her in any way. Come on girl All right, come on. I don't want to have mold transfer. Oh, no, 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 no I don't want mold transfer into oh, no, no, I don't want mold transferred into the new enclosure so girl Please cooperate. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good girl, good girl. Just have a quick look at her. All right, go up, go up. Do not bolt out, okay? Oh, check her out, you guys. Now, this is the girl I'm talking about, Miss Thailand Black. A lot of you guys have been asking for an update on her. Don't worry, guys. She's doing super fine, and she will be doing super fine for many, many years to come. So, yeah, let's get her into a new enclosure. Should I miss this enclosure first? Okay, never mind. I'll just put her down over here. Just chill there, girl. Chill there, okay? Do not even dare bolting, my gosh. All right, I've got some water bottle over here. I mean, some water. I only have one water bottle. Then, since these guys are from Asia, they will require some sort of damp, dampness, more humidity. So, yeah, I can, I think that's enough. Now, oh man, now is the fun part. Now is to get her in without her bolting. This is gonna be pretty interesting. And guys, oh man, wish me luck, you guys. Wish me luck. Okay, let's go. How am I gonna do this? I don't even know. Oh, this is so stressful. Super stressful, my gosh. If she runs up this, I am screwed, man. I am screwed. All right, come on, girl. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, now you're acting calm, huh? You're acting calm now? I don't believe you. I do not believe that this girl is calm. This girl is playing hard. She's playing... Uh-oh. No, no, no. She's already opening her front legs. Oh, my gosh. Come on, girl. You can do this and you can make me do this. Please do not do anything dumb. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking. Like, come on girl, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please do not be like this. Oh no, do not be stubborn, do not be stubborn. Oh no. Okay, what am I gonna do? This is so annoying. Put this over here. You're blocking my way, man. You're blocking my way. Come on girl, please, please, please. Come on, just go down, just go down, just go down. Sorry guys, I'm a little, I'm like not a little bit. I'm really nervous right now. You just gotta, come on. <sighs> Are you guys nervous with me? Come on guys, let me know in the comments if you're nervous with me. Let me know in the comments below what you guys had for breakfast today. Yeah, that'll be less nerve wracking. Come on girl, go forward. No, 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 not forward. I mean sideways, sideways, sideways. Don't worry guys, I'm not hurting her in any way. I'm just touching her and trying to prod her down. But she doesn't seem to be cooperating one bit. I have no idea why. I mean, it's Miss Thailand Black. Like, what do you expect, right? All right, come on girl. You're good to go, you're good to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I know... Mm. This is so annoying. All right, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, just go forward into the burrow. Come on. Yeah, girl, come on. You're, you're almost... Oh, my freaking God, man. What the hell was that? Oh, okay. At least she is in. Come on, she was almost going down there. She was like... She could just, like, go in. Why did she have to jump? Oh, my... Yep, okay, guys. That is it. Now I'm gonna have to get a water dish because even Miss Thailand Black, despite her being mean, she's got a drink as well. Let me just remove these leaves. Are those mold? I am not sure, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Let's just put the leaves up. Oh, man. Jump scares, man. Jump scares. What on earth? Oh, okay, okay. Just make this place flatter for the water dish. Let me go get a water dish. One sec, which is, you guys know, it's in here. There, all my water dishes. Just chilling over here. Let me get one. Oh, come on, styrofoam. Out of the way, man. Out of the way. There we go. Got a water dish, a beautiful glass water dish. And we're gonna have to, of course, what's a water dish without water, huh? 
There we go. That should be good enough for her because, I mean, they don't drink much, although they do have to drink. They don't drink much, which is pretty awesome. <sighs> okay, is that, I mean, it's not at the corner, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not complaining. I'll just put the leaf there. Okay, okay, girl. Oh, man. So, guys, as always, that will be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this rehouse. If you liked it, make sure you thumbs it up. If you didn't, I mean, you're free to thumbs it down. And don't worry, she will make use of that. Or she could even, like, dig stuff at the back. Because these Thailand Black Tarantulas, they are very adaptive. Anything, they, they can dig, like, at the back there. Don't worry. It's about, I would say, six to seven inches of substrate at the back there. So, she can dig down, no problem. This is about six to seven inches and she didn't even dig all the way down. So yeah, guys, that'll be it. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next rehouse is going to be up because we have got a lot of tanks, you guys. Like, look at that. We have a lot of tanks not occupied yet. So stay tuned for the next rehouse. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, have a good one. Take care and peace. So, just to give you guys a quick update after quite a while of her being in this new enclosure, let's just take a look at what she has done so far. So, as you can see, she hasn't really made much difference up here. What she did was, I mean, she's just down here. All she does is just chill down here. So, basically, she just pretty much laid a wet mat and that's that's it. She didn't do anything at the top. Ever since I got her into here, I've only seen her up there like once when I got her into this enclosure. But then other times, she's always been in here she did not dig any deeper down there all she does is just chill over there and just wait for prey so yeah looks like she is in fact enjoying this enclosure which is awesome which i'm really happy about she's taking food like a champ so yeah that is awesome and that is what we want from her